Welcome to War Bonnet Trains. Today you're in Dave's train room and we are going to scratch build a water tower. Stay tuned. Okay, so this is what we're building. Uh, this represents a uh, uh, late uh, 1800s, more like 1870 to 1890 uh, wooden water tower. And you can tell by the bracing, this wasn't a, a very stout water tower. It's just something that you would find in a uh, uh, in a small town that was just starting to colonize. Uh, so with this, we're going to start uh, stripping out some wood. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, let's get started. Okay, now we're in the phase of the uh, making the water tower. Uh, this is how I get my wood out of it to build it with. Um, first of all, uh, the scraps that I use in my wood shop when I'm uh, building stuff, I don't throw away because this little piece right here will be able to build a huge building. I get a lot of wood out of this little piece. So I don't toss them. Uh, what I do is, is I set up my saw uh, to build whatever dimension of wood uh, that I need. I use a scale ruler. I use the HO scale, which is on this side. Uh, I set up my saw, and right now I have it set up to do a 4x4. Four four. Then I start cutting. That's one half of it. Okay, and there you have it. I have a scale four by four. Um, if you notice how many where how many times I've actually cut this, the first slat that I cut, I can get about ten of these out of. And you can see what I do out of this block, one piece of this, I can get at least fifteen of them, so I can have a lot of wood stock to be able to build a building. Uh, and the same thing like making fix fence pickets and everything. You just measure the scale width, scale thickness, cut out what you need, make enough of it to where if you make a mistake, you still have plenty of it left. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's how I get my wood.
Okay, and here's the water tower. It's about 65% done. Uh, we still need to add a few things, uh, to which uh, there will be an extra ladder to get to the roof, uh, an access hatch, uh, a fill spout so that the tank can be filled up, which uh, that'll be another project I have to do, but I have to make a, a uh, windmill so we can fill the tank up. Uh, and also the spout. Uh, the spout, what we're going to use to uh, fill up the locomotives and the water cars. Uh, last but not least, I'll make a uh, very light gray wash to make the wood look aged. And that will probably complete this. Uh, of course, mounting it all on the layout. Okay. Well, if you like this video, uh, hit the like button. Uh, if you want to see more items like this, uh, definitely subscribe. Uh, also, if you want notifications of uh, new and upcoming videos, make sure you hit the bell button. Uh, this is Dave from Morbonnet Trains, and have a good one.